people the purple butterfly here about to come back in right quick and show you that my gray streak has in fact been preserved as you can tell this is not the style I'm braiding it into this is shall we say a placeholder for the style that's going to braid into because all of these individual French girls this is going to become four braids, then two here, then two here, then two, so forth and so on. I'm thinking either box braids or twist or, you know, what have you. I haven't quite decided yet. I just know I need to go ahead and separate it out. And as soon as I parted it, it's like, oh, now you can really see the gray streak that I was trying to show in the previous video. So I figure I'd let you see that while I'm, you know, thinking about it. And, of course, I'm putting some butter on the ends. That way I can really seal in the ends. Wow, the moisturizer is already during the length of the hair. But you are now truly up to date. There she is. And when I'm done, if there's a way to dye the whole head of hair gray without destroying your hair, I would probably be the one to try to do it. But I have to do like everybody on the planet does and wait till it shows up at God's will and grace. Because that's the one color you cannot actually dye hair. Did you know that? To dye hair gray, they literally have to destroy the hair you have, which is why the few times you see someone with gray hair that was chemically induced, they have no hair. It's beyond teeny in the afro because they have to use a color lifter, then a color remover, then um, a platinum, and then by the time they get to the fact that you got gray going on, your hair is so dried and fried and all that that it's just going to fall out anyway. When you could just give it some time and end up with natural gray. But if you're like me and you want gray now and you don't want to wait, there's still options. You could go to a wig store, get the color gray or the combination salt and pepper that you want, buy it, place it, anchor it down some bobby pins, boom good to go <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do when the I want to be gray intensity type feeling hits because I know me well enough to know that might happen <laughs> but I'm not going to put any more chemicals in my hair which is part of the reason why I took it back to its natural color so I never have to dye it again and everything that I'm using on it is 100% natural and that includes the comb as you can tell that's made of wood and every time I put oil on my hair and comb through my hair with this comb it automatically oils the inside of the comb so I don't even have to worry about taking a cloth and some oil and a brush and scrubbing the oil in you know my hair is doing that for me I discovered that the other day and look how easily a wood comb goes through the hair it almost lays it down flat, so I'm going to need a comb that has bigger teeth than this. So that way when I detangle, I can still maintain my curl pattern. Because if I wanted straight hair, hello, they get chemicals for that. I happen to like the way God made my hair with a spiral and a spring. And looks like a slinky some days and looks like a wave pool other days. You know, that versatility you can't buy at a store. That's what you're born with. That's what you encourage. And, you know, to go with straight hair would be to destroy my hair. And I have friends that will walk up to you and go, oh, who destroyed you? And I would deserve it because I've done that to them. Oh, who destroyed you? Why you let somebody do that to your hair? I guarantee you these folks are itching for the opportunity to throw that back at me but i've been natural for 30 something years and i don't intend to change that now so they're just going to have to wait on the opportunity to rub something different in my face because it won't be this yeah stay blessed stay tuned and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe
Bye now.